Um, so then after that, mm -hmm. um, I left the government and I happened to see Janet Mawio mm. on TV. Mm -hmm. And Janet Mawio. Yes. Mm -hmm. She was the CEO of the Kenya Community Development Foundation. Mm -hmm. And she was fundraising. Mm. She was in a TV show. Mm. And I'm watching her and I had understood nothing what she was saying. Mm. She said resource mobilization, capacity building, mainstreaming. She said all these nice words. And I think they kind of make sense to some people. But for me, because I wasn't in the space, you, so you needed it humanized for I, you. I asked whether she would be happy to take feedback and she was. And I said, I didn't understand what you said on TV. And so she explained what she wanted, what she was trying to say. And I said, well, you could do it differently. And now my marketing uh, background comes into play. Mm. And I said, you know what? You could do it like this. This is the framework that you could take. And um, if you did, then you would be able to raise money. At that time, KCDF had been given money by Ford Foundation um, in, a, in the form of a matching grant. I think it was something like a, they were given 150 million for the endowment fund. That one was freely given. Then they were given this other 150 million, which they were told you can only use it if you raise a hundred and equivalent mm. from other Whoever. sources, especially mm. from individuals, mm. from companies, whatever. Mm. Mm. So at like a dollar for dollar. Yes. For every we're gonna give you this for every dollar you raise, yes. we will match that. That's but what I'm matching. If you do not grant. raise 150, then this is not we're taking it all back. Yeah. Okay. That's a I mean, and in this field, just so that then that is understood, that that's usually a very good way of saying, hey, money is available, yes. but also get others to yes give you more so uh -huh. that you can continue with so that you can you continue yes. you know you can create a level of sustainability of yes. sorts yeah. so i became head of marketing and partnerships mm. at mm. kcdf mm -hmm. um and you know the sorry board, this is around 2000 and this is 2000 2000 and and uh, eight so you're around 28 there. i'm 28 mm. I became head of marketing for Kenya Community Development Foundation. Mm. We completely rebrand the organization mm -hmm. um, into what it currently is. Mm. Um, we create, we rebrand all the programs. Mm. <coughs> and we made sure, the big job that I had at that place was to make sure that it spoke normal language. Mm. That their program spoke normal language. Mm -hmm. They had a program which is a fantastic program. They still have it to this day. Mm. That's really useful. Called Ustawi. Ustawi. Yeah. Mm. Um, we called it Ustawi because of the fact that it was a program that was supporting community farmers f through all stages of um, of the cycle, mm -hmm. from preparing ground planting mm. to um, how managing water mm. to managing uh, harvesting and storage. Mm to figuring out the market, mm. that entire cycle. Mm. They're supporting community organizations to do that. Mm. They have another program for for early childhood development. Mm -hmm. I think they still do have that program mm -hmm. where they're supporting farmers, especially in Northern Kenya. Yeah, uh, Not farmers, but they're supporting uh, women in Northern Kenya mm. to take their kids into daycare. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm. So that while those kids are in daycare, mm. mom can go and do something that is worthwhile for the family. Mm -hmm. Now the problem is at mm. that time they used to call it the early childhood development program oh. um, and they used to say that it is to provide um, something stability or some big word mm. um, for for people what, what we did is that we went and worked on it mm. and then we simplified the language mm. and um, if you go on youtube you can see something that i did with uh, jeff Quenange. Mm. listen to it a man who used to be called Alex Kagwe. You know him better as Al Kags. My brother. How you doing? Man? Welcome to the bench. Thank you very much. Good to see you, man. Indeed. Jeez, what a brilliant man. What a, what a brilliant young man. 30 years old. Well, I just told guys, mm. how much do you pay for daycare? Mm. You pay, here in Nairobi, we pay 10, 20, 30,000 shillings mm. a month on daycare, right? Mm. Um, how much do you pay for a coffee at Java? Mm. It's 100 bob. Mm. 200 bob. Mm. So I said, for the price of coffee at mm. Java, mm. you could support a child mm. through KCDF mm. to um, have daycare mm. 
for one week. That simple. For the price of coffee. Mm. So people gave. Because they understood. Right? So mm. people would give that money. Mm. They'd, they'd send mm. uh, their 250 bobs mm-hmm. and whatnot, and mm. people gave. Mm. Um, we organized, the. they had something called the KCDF Golf mm-hmm. Tournament. Mm. Um, we called it the Community Open, mm. um, which was happening at uh, Mudaiga Golf Club. It's just a little rewarding yes, word play. Exactly. Um, and people now started giving to it mm. because now they understood what it was for and why it was being done and so on and so forth. You know, in marketing and in media yes. and in advertising, you say the message is always the recipient and it's about massaging the masses. Yes. You know, so and that's what you cleverly were doing with, exactly. with, with them. So it was it, basically my belief, and this is, I think, the biggest message I can give to the people in the development space, is that they need to incorporate marketing in the same way that Safaricom and Airtel and banks and so on and so forth have marketing departments. And marketing is not sales. Marketing is making sure that you have such a powerful brand that people want to come into the organization. They want to give their money. They want to give their um, time. They want to volunteer. They want to support you. They want to partner with you. That's what marketing is. And, 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 and that they are, it evokes an emotion. Yes. Whether it's an emotion of joy, anger, or fear. Or fear. Yes. You know, about a particular cause or brand. Yes. You know, so whatever it is. At times it's just, let's evoke an emotion of anger that I'm so angry that gender based violence is going this way. And if this is the organization that is working towards it, I'm so angry about this cause that I must do something and I will partner therefore Bam, with this, that you is know? The thing. Yeah, so I, I, I completely. So KCDF did that really well. Mm. And when we succeeded doing that, they actually did raise their 150 million mm. um, from other sources, um, from companies like Safaricom, from well healed guys, the, the very wealthy guys in Kenya mm. and so on. Mm. They were able to raise this money very well. They mm. were even able to raise a lot of money from people who are giving 10 bobs and 20 mm-hmm. bobs and mm-hmm. 100 bobs exactly. and so on and so forth. Yeah. Um, and they even today, I still advocate for people to give money to KCTF because yeah. they do really, truly Fantastic amazing work, work in communities. Yeah. So I worked there for two years. When that was done, I left. Before you move on to the yeah. next one, maybe we take we, we change battery now? Thank you.